Welcome to episode 90, guys and gals. Hello, guys and girls. Welcome, gals, guys and gals. Trying on new lips or something, I don't know. Anyway, welcome to doing redneck things off grid. It is Tuesday, March 12th, 2024. Uh, we've been having real windy weather, so I've been stuck in the house and being kind of lazy today and getting this out late. So I apologize for that, but it is what it is. So anyway, it is time for I Have Questions. Number one is from Ian Y. Gaith, a Canadian buddy. He says, why is Easter always late or early but never on time? You always hear people say that, gee, Easter is late or early this year but never gosh is Easter is on time this year good question uh, I guess ro the Easter holiday rotates every year and just a reminder uh, Easter's not about the bunny it's about it's about Jesus giving his life for our sins so just just my my thoughts you know it's not about the bunny it's about Jesus who gave his life on the cross for our sins. So that was from Ian. Great one. Great one, Ian. So the next three are from G Bear. He's been throwing these funny, funny little quotes at me that are pretty cool. And number two is if Cinderella's shoe fits so perfectly, why did it fall off in the first place? So that is a good question. If it if it fits so good, why did it? Uh, let me turn my phone off here real quick. Oops, wrong button. I don't want to. Uh, there we go. Ring notification about. So anyway. Why did Cinderella's shoe fall off if it fit so perfectly? That is a good question. <laughs> so if they, yeah, if they fit so good, why did they? Why does it fall off? I don't lose my shoes when I run. Huh? Good, a good question. So <laughs> number three, if a T-Rex is selling guns. Does, does that make him a small arms dealer? You want to buy a gun? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, allergies are bad this time of the year. So, <laughs> T-Rex selling guns. I could see that. Gangster T-Rex. With leather jacket on. <laughs> I don't know small arms dealer that's funny so number four is from cheap air also if you boil your funny bone you know bone you hit in your your elbow it makes your hand go numb if you boil that and does that make it does that give you a laughing stock keyword stock yeah that's G Bear comes up with some crazy ones, I'm telling you. So, a laughing stock. So, what is the meaning of laughing stock? So, that would be boiling your funny bone, right? Boil your funny bone to get a laughing stock. Good one, G Bear. So, number five. Where did the term honeymoon come from oh they're going on their honeymoon what is the meaning behind the word honeymoon if you know write right in the comments below and it's pretty good uh, so yeah we're going on our honeymoon so there's a usually a reason behind those terms uh, if anybody knows what the term honeymoon actually really means let me know 
Number six is one of mine. Why is our government so willing to give away our money to other countries rather than in our investing in our own country that's falling apart? You know, why, why are we so willing to give away taxpayers' money to other countries that can't support themselves and the troubles that they're getting into when our country is falling apart in itself? You know, it's like, it, I, I don't know. Which leads me right into number seven. You know, what reality are people living in that our country is not in trouble? And our leaders are working for in our best interest. You know that's a, the, the two go hand in hand. You know it's a, they're so willing to give billions of dollars away to other countries. Why not invest those billion do, billions of dollars into our own infrastructure? That's my personal opinion. So, so number eight, I was watching. Uh, I watched Captain Crazy talk the other day and in the crowd the only thing I noticed that made any sense and that that got me thinking you know wondering is why would you dye your hair purple and show up at an event where there's millions of people going to see you in your lime pantsuit this gal was in her I'd say in her 70s dyed her hair bright purple and was wearing a lime green pantsuit I guess her goal was to get on TV she did it she got on <laughs> she got on TV all right <coughs> I don't I don't get it what what people are thinking <coughs> purple hair and a lime green suit that just that kind of get, get, get I don't know. So number nine. Why is it that you can hear a tune in your head while you're trying to learn guitar, but your brain won't send the information to your fingers? <laughs> you just can't find the notes, and you can hear it in your head, but duh, where did it go on the neck of the guitar? Now is that just me, or does some of you others? that are playing guitar have the same problem. <laughs> I, I, seriously, I, I can hear it now. I, I'm hearing it and then I, my head's, the hamsters are spinning and then I start to try to find a note and they're just not there. It's just funny. Just funny. So anyway, sorry for so late this week. Uh, thanks, thanks for all your support. Welcome to all the new subscribers. We are still putting together our 800 uh, subscriber uh, giveaway where uh, we got the boxes and everything. What we're going to do is give away three mystery boxes and three people will get a mystery box from us and it'll be fun. It'll be fun. We got some pretty cool stuff we're going to uh, hiding a mystery box the only stipulation is that we want to have you uh, videotape when you open it that would be really cool so anyway thanks for watching everybody welcome all you new subscribers get out and vote get out and meet your you fellow youtubers support our troops so those boys are they're just hanging over there with no leadership so God bless everybody and I'll see you on the next one bye bye mm -hmm.